Howdy, AP Breakout. It's Ms. Kosh. I'm continuing Mr. Passwater's notes from section 3.1. I have something else already up for my kids, but I'm a, I'll am add this as a supplement. Um, we're continuing on with the, I, the notion of periodic phenomena. Okay. Um, so then they tell us here, a graph of H is periodic has, with a period of 5. Okay, um, so values of H are shown. The, notice they didn't give us enough to like figure out what's really happening. They gave us a few random ones. Find the following values. Okay, H of negative 2 would be the same thing as H of 5 my No. <laughs> what is that going to be? Negative 5 plus 3? So if I take my, my period, whatever happened at 3 is going to also happen 5 units before 3 at negative 2. And so this is equal to 0. Um, the next one here, this h of 6 is going to be equal to h of 5 plus 1. So whatever happens at 1 will also happen 5 units later because our period is 5. Um, and so at 6, we're going to get that same y value of negative 2 that we had here at 1. Okay, I thought this, uh, these next ones were kind of clever. So this would be equal to h of h of, well, 4 plus 5. We do know what h of 4 is equal to. If it happens at 4, it happens one whole period later. So 5 units beyond 4 is 9. Um, oh, I need another parenthesis. Um, so this is going to be equal to h of, what did we say this was? h of 4 was 3. Now we also know h of 3 is equal to 0. That was a cool problem. I liked it. Okay, on this one, they want to know um, where k is an integer. What is h of 5k minus 3? Well, if we just plugged in 0 for k, um, h of 5k minus 3 is going to be the same thing that happens at h of negative 3. But we don't know anything about negative 3. So we're going to have to figure out which of these relates back to that. Okay, so I could think of, um, well... I have, okay, so when, when k is 0, I have negative 3. When k is 1, I'm at 2. Um, do I know 2? I don't know 2, so that's not helpful. When k is 2, I have 10 minus 3 is 7. Do I know, so notice what I'm doing. I don't know why I put it on a number line, but I'm just trying to space it out um, so that we have a, um, a period here of 5, and, and they're 5 units away. I do know that h of 7 is equal to 2. So h of 7 will be the same thing as h of 2, which will be the same thing as h of negative 3. Um, and so this will work for any integer k. So we'll be adding 5 units from here on out. So this is going to be equal to 2 from here. Those are clever problems. They're kind of fun. Um, OK, it's useful to have a notation, a periodic function with basic pattern translates. OK, it's translating. It's shifting left and right. So it's a horizontal translation. Um, in example four, so that was this one, our period uh, was five, so what we could do is we could say it was h of x was equal to h of x minus five. I can shift my graph five units. Okay, uh, did I answer all of that? Okay, super, I think I did explain that. The next one, the graph of f is periodic with the domain of all real numbers. Okay, two full periods are shown. Find all input values of f that yield an output value of one. Okay, so how far apart are they? They are, we're here at, at, um, at 2, we're here at 6. Um, that means that was 4 units later. Um, if this is periodic, it's going to happen again at 10. It's going to happen 4 units later. Um, so here's the output value of 1. Where did it happen? It happened at 2, it happened at 6. Therefore, um, all of this has a period of 4. Uh, yeah, okay, so it's just 4 k plus 2 will generate this first 2. When I plug in, um, so where k is an element of the integers. Find all values, input values that lead to it. Okay, so we could say x equals, but I don't know that we have to. Um, what else is I going to say about that? That's not the only way to write this equation. I could have said um, 4k plus 6. If I plug in, so notice on this one, if I plug in 1, I get 6. On this one, if I plug in 0, I get 6. So they're both going to, if I plug in negative 1, now I'm at 2. Um, I could have said, I could also say 4k minus 2. Because now if I plug in 1, uh, k times, uh, excuse me, 4 times 1 is 4, minus 2 is 2. This would also, so any of these are reasonable ways to, to answer that question. 
Um, there are infinitely many ways to answer that question, but not all of them are so reasonable. <laughs> um, okay, uh, the last problem is really good, and it's related to our free response question number three, but I'm going to do this in another video. So come back and find that one. Go subscribe to my channel, all those sorts of things. Watch all my videos. Anyway, <laughs> I'm having fun watching my YouTube numbers. All right, good luck. Go study.